Good day, welcome to Game Wars Earth. We have one of my favorite gaming platforms of all time, the Game Boy Advance. We're going to play the pink one today, but we have a compilation compilation cartridge. We have the Konami Collector Series Arcade Advance. A very long title, but you do get a lot with this card. You get six classic games, six absolutely classic games. And they truly are classics. You get Frogger, Scramble, Time Pilot, Gyrus, Yar Kung Fu, and Russian Attack. See, I remembered them all. Got all six of them. Just an absolute fantastic card. I really love this. Uh, you're going to have some issues probably with it. It's not perfect. Uh, a lot of the games are great. Um, the problem is with the Game Boy Advance, of course, you have a D-pad. So uh, Frogger plays really well with the D-pad. Scramble plays well. Yar Kung Fu plays fairly well. Uh, Time Pilot and Gyrus a little challenging. I mean, you can play them. You're going to see them during the gameplay. I'm, uh, I'm, having, I'm struggling a little bit. But um, Time Pilot was hard in the arcade. And with the D-pad, even harder. Uh, Gyrus, not too bad. You're going to see at the 90 and 270. Uh, when you kind of, if you've ever seen Gyrus, it's kind of like a circular space and barriers. Good way to, to describe it. When you get to uh, 90 and 270, you have to go the other direction with the D-pad. Uh, so you kind of, kind of almost get stuck, and you got to keep moving on. Uh, it'd be nice if you could, if you put get the ROM, uh, get yourself like a little um, uh, joystick with a little um, spinner on there, and I think you'd really really honk away at the game, especially Time Pilot. Time Pilot, very challenging. But still, all great games. So let's put this in and let's play. Get in there, baby. Let's let's play. There's the Konami logo. There's a little intro. Back to 1981. And here's the Flash screen. Let's see the Frogger scramble. Time pilot Gyrus, Yar Kung Fu, Russian attack. We're going to play Frogger first. Classic game. And see, so you can play multiplayer. You gotta get that fly. Just a fun game. I remember seeing on Seinfeld they had uh, it was Jerry's friend uh, Costanza, George Costanza. He had like the high score on Frogger, and he didn't want to lose it. If they lose power, they'd lose the high score. So he was trying to get it across the street. Kind of like UPS on it. And at the end, he gets plowed by a truck. The only thing he had to live for was his high score. Every level gets a little faster and faster, so it's gonna get me on this one. There you go. Oh, you got me. Do some scramble next. And this one I'm gonna have a little bit of a trouble with. I'm not that good at this one, especially it's a little, little difficult on the uh, Game Boy Advance. It's not that bad, but it's just uh, I'm gonna get used to this game. One of the ones I played the least. Let's see, I'm kind of failing even at the very beginning, which is the easy part. I think once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. But as you can see, I do not have the hang of it. Reminds me of a uh, defender because it was out about the same time. That is a lot different. It's that same feel. Got 
at me again. Time pilot. I used to play this on the Commodore 64 and I got really, really good. You know, basically what you do is you uh, go through time, you're gonna start off with like uh, like World War One fighters, and you go in like World War II, and you got jets, and then towards the end you get spaceships. So you get a little bi planes here. Let's get that little guy if you can. I remember this in the arcade. I thought it was really cool. I remember playing it a few times. It's very, very challenging. Yeah, it takes a while to get used to it. Uh, the controls are kind of really difficult. Stage, you kind of warp to the next one. Go through all the planets. Got me. Score. 
Like a, uh, it was kind of like a malt shop here in a place. And they had this machine. We spent lots of time playing it. We got really good at it. She's got, uh, like, num uh, oh, she's got uh, throwing stars. Pretty bad. So we have to get back to the main menu. One thing I did know is sometimes if you're not in the game, you can't get out of the game. Go back to the main menu. Now we go to the main menu. Yeah, Russian attack, the last game. <laughs> this is one of those games I, I don't remember playing in the arcade. Oh no, I stepped on it. Stepped on a mine. Remember, don't step on the mines. Thank you. 
I lost. Still a good game. Take one last quick look at the main menu. Let's get out of here. Like I said, you gotta go back into the game to get out of the game. Or get, there we go. Rush attack, rocker scramble, time pilot. There you have it. Konami Classic Series Arcade Advance, a long title for a great cartridge with six great games on it. Definitely worth it for the Game Boy Advance if you don't have this, pick it up. Or find the ROM, play it on emulator, because I think you're probably going to enjoy it. At least you'll find a game, if not a whole bunch of games that you could really enjoy. Uh, I really love this game, love this cartridge, and I've been playing it for quite a bit. Um, am I good at it? No. But do I enjoy it? Yes, and that's what it's all about. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's you guys. Have a great day.